Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Karen and in this video, I'll be showing you how to create an amazing painting from a reference photo. Here's the photo of this gorgeous husky dog, Lucy. And here's her painting. This is part one where I'll show you how to put in the sunset sky background. Let's get started. Just gonna jump right in with my sketch already done on the painting surface. If you'd like to see some other dog or animal how to draw videos, please just let me know in the comments. And here's that reference photo. Notice since this painting is the portrait of the dog, I chose to crop the picture a bit to show less sky and I also drew in the husky a lot larger than in the picture. The boat didn't seem so important so I mostly just let the dog cover that up and we'll bring the reflections down around her head. As the artist, you get to decide those things. Don't ever feel like you have to just copy the reference photo. Have fun by just picking and choosing the parts or even rearranging things to make the painting what you want. Okay, so far I've put in the lightest bits in the sky where the sun is the brightest. Now I started working on bringing in swoops of the bright orange color laying it down along the lines of the moving clouds. Remember, clouds have soft edges, so keep blending. Next comes red in the sky. It will blend with the yellow and oranges already there to bump the clouds up another notch. I've also left a few spots to add some sky blue. When the blue edges and the red edges blend together, you'll start to see the lavender and violet tones from the reference photo. Again, you can see that I'm not copying what I see in the photo, but rather interpreting, making it my own. This bit of sky I'm popping in is in between the sunset clouds and the tree line below. The final details of the sky are going in here, with little hints of clouds made with little brush strokes, and with me continuing to blend soft edges where I feel like they should be. Movement is created in the sky with the directions of the lines of clouds plus all the little brush strokes. You'll see that I also decided to bring in some darker shades of violet, um, like a purplish color, to show some of the clouds and some more bright, bright yellows to um, brighten up the spot where the sun is peeking from behind the trees. This next part is painting in where the trees sit between the sunset sky and the river water. Different shades of greens and blues make up the trees, with the sections of trees further away being lighter and bluer in tone. Here I've been painting in some shadows along the um, bases of the trees near the water line, as well as up into the trees to show some distinction between them. You can get a good feel for how I do the trees in this demo um, with sky holes and shading and such, but really the details on that are should be part of another video, which I'll try and get that out to you soon. Just redefining some clouds in here that are coming out from behind the trees with some violet shades. There I'm punching some sky holes in to show that yellow glow of the sunset behind the trees. Over here to the trees on the right hand side, this is an exciting technique where they're more silhouetted because the sun is setting directly to behind this clump of trees, but there's light spillage coming over them. So you'll see that I'm putting an orange glow and blending it down into the trees. And it's pretty distinct and very, very reddish orange that it's called optical scatter. And it really gives you the feeling that the sun is is very, very bright and spilling over the edges of those trees. I use the same technique in my running horses part two video where I show how to create the silhouetted horses in a sunset scene as well. Right, so now we're getting to work on the reflections of the sunset in the sky and the trees and things. So you'll see me using some 
vertical strokes to pull things down into the water. That's going to allow me to make it look like a reflection later when I blend it. Let's bring our reference photo back and look at that for a second as we move down to the front part of our um, painting. The sunset sky as done in the painting largely cuts off the upper part of the photo with all the blue and violet shades. They are, however, still reflected in the front area of the painting next to the husky dog. I'm using this blue brush to blend. It's a neat technique where you put a lot of pressure on the brush and you pull the reflection straight down into the water, then whisk your brush side to side over them. Sometimes you might add a little bit of white onto the tips of the bristles to um, add a little bit more of like sparkle on the water as you're blending too. Let me show you that technique up just a little bit closer. By pulling down vertically and then sweeping across horizontally is how you get the like little ripples and reflections to look like they're in the water. All right, just a final few little strokes of blending for this background and it's gonna be done. And here's one last peek at the painting so far, plus the reference photo. I hope you've enjoyed watching me create a painting from a reference photo by interpreting it and making it my own. Remember to show some love by liking and subscribing for more great videos.